Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, and today we're gonna to be talking about model apps. We're gonna be talking about views, forms, dashboards. We're gonna talk about how to show that in the UI by means of the app designer, sitemap, and then we're gonna talk about the new modern app designer, which brings the sitemap and the app designer into one application. So first things first, let's talk about where to actually navigate to play and create model apps. So if you go to make.powerapps.com, you'll land exactly where I am. Make sure you're selected on the correct environment, and if you hit apps, you can see the different apps you have. Today we're gonna to be focusing on the demo app I've created. To create a new app, you go to new app and hit model driven, and that'll go ahead and create the model app for you. If you wanna edit a model app, just hit the three dots and hit edit. All right, so really quickly, let's talk about what a model app is. Very, very simply put, a model app is basically just a place to display your data model. On the left, you have navigation, where you can either navigate to dashboards or views, and then the center, we have the content. So if I click on accounts, I'm gonna see a list or a view of accounts. And just a refresher, accounts are a table that I have in my database. What we're seeing here is a view called my active accounts. Now I can change that view by selecting the drop down. A view controls two things, the filter, which rows to show, and the columns essentially which data points do we want to show in this view. So we can see there's a list of views here. Let's figure out where those are coming from. So if I go to make.powerapps.com and I go to tables, let's navigate to accounts and select views. So we see a big list of views here. Now one thing you'll notice is all of these views don't show up in our model app. So that's for two reasons. There are different types of views and in a model app, we can control which views are shown in the app. So again, in make.powerapps, I'm gonna navigate to my demo app and I'm gonna hit edit. So this is the traditional app designer. We'll talk about the modern one later. You'll see at the top, I have the sitemap, which we'll go into in a second. We see dashboards, business process flows, and entity view. The section we're gonna focus on for now is the entity view. I have three tables or entities, account, activity and contact. Activity is one of those tables that just gets added automatically. You can remove it, but that's why it's here. So if I look at the account table, I see I have forms, views, charts, and dashboards. We're looking at views, so I'm gonna select views. On the right, you'll see all of the views that I have selected to be in this app. Let's say I only want a few views in the app. All we have to do is deselect all and select which views. Let's say I want all accounts, active accounts, and maybe accounts influence deals that we want. I just hit save and publish. So you might be asking, okay, well, I, I know how to select existing views. How do I create my own view? Well, I have a dedicated video to show you exactly how to create views. And once you create that view, you'll see it in the app designer and you can select it to be in your app. Back in our app, if I select a specific row, Let's maybe drill into fourth coffee here. So what I'm looking at here is what's called a form. And just like a view, I can select different forms. If you see the drop down up at the top left, you'll see I have three different forms I can choose from. This behaves the exactly the same way as views. I can control which forms are shown or even just have one form that's gonna show. And that's for any particular table. Different tables can have different amounts of forms. So let's talk about where we're gonna find forms. Again, we're gonna be back at make.powerapps.com. I've navigated to the account table and I'm gonna go to the forms tab. So you see here again, we have a bunch of forms listed. Again, it's the same thing with views. The reason they're not all showing is because there are different form types and I have different forms selected to be in the app. So if I navigate back to the app designer, you can see just like the views, I can select exactly which forms are gonna be in the app. And again, I have a separate video going through exactly how to create your own forms and customize forms. And I'll go over the different types of forms that exist. So lastly, we have dashboards and charts. Charts I'll show you really quickly. So if I'm on the account, and I say show chart, you'll see a chart shows up on the left. 
and I have a drop down, I can select which chart I want to look at. And what's cool is if I select something on the chart, the view on the left actually updates and gives me a drilled down version of the data. Configuring charts is very similar to views in dashboards. You go to the charts tab and you'll see the list of charts. To control which charts show in your app, you go to the app designer and under charts, you just simply select which charts. Now dashboards are a little bit more complicated. There's two main types. There's a table dashboard and there's a, we'll call it a generic dashboard that multiple tables can be included in. So I'm not gonna go in how to create any of these visualizations in this video. That'll actually be the next video. What I will show you today is how to control which dashboards show in your app. Again, it's the same exact process as forms, views, and charts. You just navigate to dashboards. You can see in this case, I don't have any dashboards for the account table or for the, we'll call them generic dashboards. If I select this top dashboard, you can see a few out of the box dashboards. And here I can select which dashboards are gonna show in my app. So we've talked about controlling the content in the middle of our app, right? In our views and our dashboards. Now let's talk about how do we control the navigation on this left side? How do we include tables? How do we take out tables? So that's gonna be done from our sitemap. So if you go to your app designer and select sitemap. So there's three different um, folders or kind of groupings that you can control in the sitemap. So I'm actually gonna show this from the UI perspective. The first layer of organization we have is called an area. So at the bottom left here, you'll see I can change the area of area one and area two. And you'll see that's reflected here in my sitemap. Area one, area two. Second, I have groups. Groups are the bold lettering you see on this left side. So in this case, I just have one group called overview. In area two, I have one group called activities. And the final component is a sub area. The sub area are the different points of navigation you see here on the left dashboard, accounts, contacts. So very simply, a subgroup can be one of two things. It can either be a link to a dashboard or it can be a link to a table. Now there are some other things you can do with it, but so there are some other things you can do, but we're not gonna focus on that right now. Now take a note that these subgroups are actually called pages in the new UI, which we'll get to now. So let's talk about the modern app designer. So, so far we've had the app designer and the sitemap. The model app designer brings those two together. And I actually think in the future, you're not gonna see those components are all gonna live behind the scenes. So this navigation is gonna look different for each tenant currently. Um, for me, I have to manually go into the modern designer. For you, it might automatically launch in there. If I go to our demo app and I select edit and I go to the arrow, if I select edit and preview, that's actually what brings me into the new UI. And at any point I can navigate to the classic UI if I hit this switch to classic button. So again, basically a page in the new UI is just a subgroup in the old UI. So this could either be a dashboard or a table. Next we have navigation. This is essentially gonna be your sitemap. So you see we have navigation bar, area one, area two. We have overview, which is our group. And then we see our subgroups. And lastly, you can see data. So we can see the data we have in our app and we can see the data we have in our environment. Well, so let's talk about pages. If I drop down account, I see I have account form and account view. This is just like in the old app designer where we can edit which forms are gonna show and which views are gonna show. On the right, you see I have two forms selected. If I go to manage forms, I can select more forms. Same thing for views. I can see the views that are currently included and I can add or take away views. So for dashboards, I haven't quite figured out how to control which dashboards are shown in the app in the new UI. So that's a situation where you're gonna have to navigate to the classic UI. Well, hopefully that gave you a brief overview of model apps, how to create them, and how to edit all the components in a model app. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at congruentx.com. Please like and subscribe if this was helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.